So the food people, they created us spaghetti with two types of sauces, broccoli and chicken alfredo with uh, the regular meat sauce, meat spaghetti sauce. On top of that, they had a scrumptious salad. And the topper was they had to create at camp two baked desserts. Wow. Now, you know, we don't carry oven to camp, yeah? So they had to be creative. And what they came out with was a bread pudding from scratch and then a brownie special. What happened with the brownie? We ran out of eggs. So they improvised using bananas and it came out spectacular. <laughs> On the other hand, there was the other group who was responsible for putting together a special performance, a special skit that encompassed all of Pastor Lord's current message, our messages at camp, um, focusing on darkness, um, darkness the flesh, um, the light the spirit, or Adam, where are you? So today, we, without much further ado, we present to you the impact players in What's Cooking Jesus. <laughs> In life, we all live in the light or in the darkness. Even as Christians, we can be blinded into thinking we are in the light. But the truth is, the only way to truly be out of the darkness and not live in the flesh is for us to let Jesus reveal it to us through God's grace. Take Robert, for instance, a successful chef with a restaurant of his own, happily married. He and his wife are Christians, and they think they are living in the light or in the spirit, but soon they will see they are bound by the law and the darkness has control in their life. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> How was work? Work was great. God is great. I'm so glad he blessed us so abundantly. Me too. Aren't you glad we're such diligent Christians? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Robert and Vicky are misguided into thinking that their Christian life is all about their religious acts instead of focusing on their relationship with Jesus. When everything's good in life, it's easy for them to take it as a blessing from God and they thank themselves for pleasing God. But when the trials come, what do they stand on? What do they hold on to? Who leads them through it? Enrique! Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just shop, shop in the middle. Stop, stop fooling around. You know what? This economy is killing us, man. Our restaurant is just going down the drain. What do you think's wrong? No, nah, nothing much, but it is good and it's, our food is great and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. I think. Yeah, you know what? I think you should come up with something new. You're the sous chef, all right? Come up with something new, delicious, and just everything, everybody will like it, all right? Come up with it by the end of today, and I'll be in my office. Get back to work. Stop fooling around. <laughs> hey, Nikkei, are you, Enrico, are you okay? <laughs> Here. It's your new 
help with anything? Um, yeah, actually, if you guys don't mind helping me in the kitchen, that'd be great. And then, guys, you can go ahead and wait in the living room. Rob should be right down. He's changing. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Rob. So, uh, where's all the little devil? I mean, uh, where's all the wives? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not too good, man. You know my restaurant? They're going downhill. And me and Vicky, not so hot either. Man, I knew things were bad, but I thought they were getting better by now. So has things gotten any better with you and Rob? No. He's so irritating. You don't even understand. I mean, we both don't believe in divorce, but things are just that bad. And honestly, I don't know why. God just can't change her, you know? It's just, she's so, she's so, you know, these days. And we always fight, and it's always about the same thing. It's always about money. That's it. He's either not talking to me, or he's talking to me about money. And you know what? I can tell by the look on his face that he just does not care. I just don't care anymore. You know? <laughs> She's so frustrating these days. We always fight about the same stuff, and about yeah. this, about that. Man, she sounds like such a- Butt face. That's all he is. Plain and simple, butt face. <laughs> <laughs> I tried talking, but you know, talking leads to fighting and this and that, and you know how that goes. And you know, quite frankly, I'm just so tired. I, I just, I don't know what to do anymore. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I don't know what God's plan is in all of this, but all I know is this is just not, not working. working. <laughs> Sometimes in life, the darkness seems so dark that the light seems impossible to shine. But that's when we must remember we don't find the light, the light finds us. When Jesus lives in our hearts, he becomes the light we need, the light we hold on to. God will give us different people in life to help us see this, but only by his grace can we fully live in the light. Hey, what's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, Rob? How's your food, man? man? So how's the restaurant going, anyway? Well, man, pretty much, you can see around you here, only regular left. <coughs> you know, I don't even know why, the food is delicious here, and I'm tired of the busy restaurant scene, anyway. What? Busy restaurants is where it's at, man. I never told you? No, no, no. Man, yeah, I used to own my restaurant. My oh, own restaurant. Hey. I used to be just like you, man. Packed with people everywhere. But it was it was crazy, <coughs> but I don't know, it just the pressure got to me. I just couldn't handle it. I, I don't know, I just I didn't like who I was and where I was going in life anymore. So, I mean, what did you do then? What what changed you? Well, I know it sounds corny, but God actually grabbed a hold of my life and turned it around and once I started like trusting in him, everything is so to be so easy. Oh, I know I know all about that, man. Like I go to church every Sunday and I pray and uh, give tithes and offerings and I read my Bible every or well, maybe not every day. Is that why is that why I'm being punished? Is that the problem? <laughs> nah, that's not it, man. Like you, you 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 know, you go to church, you go to church, you know Jesus and everything, but like do you know who he is to yeah, you? Yeah, 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 I know him. He's a uh, Son of Mary, uh, brought down from the world, uh, uh, to help us Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. You see, you know him, but like, that list you gave me, that was, that's all religious stuff, man. Living on the law, like, God, Jesus, it's all about like, having a relation with him, you know? Like, living under grace. All this, uh, this punishment you're going through, like, the, the restaurant, and I hear these things about you and Vicky, man. It's just, it's just uh, that's all was brought to the cross when Jesus died, and all the hardships and everything. Yeah. It's, it's a way of uh, God showing the kind of darkness you're in and a uh, way to come to the light. Okay, I get it. So what you're saying is I should stop focusing on trying to know him, like word for word, everything about him, but just let him live through me and yeah, have, a, just... have a better relationship with him? Yes. Oh, totally makes sense, man. Thanks a lot, Chris. Anytime, man. Hey, you know what? How... Dinner's on the house. Sweet, man. <laughs> <laughs> God got a hold of Rob's heart and gave him a great revelation. It's easy to get lost in the darkness, but we have to remember that with Jesus in our hearts. He is the beacon of light to, our, to show us our way out. God revealing our darkness is all a part of his grace. And that's what's cooking. Jesus!